And tonight, one finger of the fire is burning west of Chester. CBS 13th Laura Hayfley is joining us live from the fire lines. Laura. Cal Fire tells us right now 45 structures have been burned in the Dixie Fire, including the one you see behind me, so severely destroyed. The only thing left standing is their chimney. And if you take a look, even if fire, firefighters uh, were able to get the fire for this home under control, they'd have a tough time getting to it. This bridge here completely destroyed. Again, the structure count right now is at 45, but we're told that number will grow. Reason being is right now the Dixie Fire is too aggressive and too dangerous for agencies to send in their damage assessment teams, which means they cannot get a true count of how many homes and potentially businesses have been destroyed. Now, right now, we are just a few miles away from the town of Chester, which is sitting in the shadow of the Dixie Fire as it bears down on a more than 2,000 person town. Chester has been evacuated. We ran into one woman who was grabbing her final essential items before leaving. She said she's lived in Chester her entire life. She's raised her three children there and today has been extremely difficult. We'll be okay. We'll, you know, they'll get new toys and everything, uh, but it's just memories. And I just can't see it, you know, not being here. <laughs> A really emotional day for residents and a tough day for firefighters. This Dixie fire is really all over the place. The high winds are not helping. The amount of trees and dry brush not helping either. Dixie fire moving extremely quickly. Now, right now, the town of Chester has not been hit directly by this fire. It is still standing. And we were just uh, in town a moment ago. And, of course, first responders are still along that main street, making sure they're ready to defend businesses and homes if it comes to it. All right, Laura, before we let you go, I want to be clear. You showed us that burned bridge, and I know that you are just west of Chester, but behind you, are you saying we've lost structures behind you? Yes, exactly. You can you can see it. We'll zoom in a little further for you here, but we've seen several structures along Highway 36 that have been completely destroyed, and typically the only thing that's left of them are their chimneys, uh, which of course are predominantly made out of stone or brick. Uh, again, this bridge just devastating to see completely gone here. So this is just a snapshot of what this area is dealing with and how aggressive and devastating the Dixie Fire has been so far.